Nice. Mr. Nels. Uh, uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'd like to thank the witnesses uh, for being here. It's, and it is no secret, quite honestly, it's self-evident. We are facing the worst border crisis in the history of our great country. It's self-induced. It's a self-induced crisis, and it falls at the feet of Joe Biden and his borders are Kamala Harris, who have expressed very little interest in addressing our border crisis, evidenced by their unwillingness to place the American people first. And I would like to address Sheriff Daniels and thank you for almost your four decades of service in law enforcement. And, and Sheriff, in your written testimony, you highlight tragedies in your county related to illegal immigration. And I'm a former sheriff in Texas, big county, and I feel your pain. Sheriff, I feel your pain. Thank you. I also experienced a loss of life of, of innocent county residents, Americans, at the hands of Joe Biden's irresponsible border policies. It is very clear the individuals from around the globe that have been invited into our country by this administration do not have the American, the uh, America's best interest at heart. I say this because they are willing to kill. Sheriff, you shared a personal tragedy in your written testimony of a citizen. It was Wanda, and I believe she was 65 years old, attending her birthday party, trying to go and celebrate her 65th birthday, ran by a car, high-speed chase ran a red light, and it killed her. The smuggler had three illegal aliens inside that vehicle. It ended her life. And then I understand that shortly thereafter, her son ended up driving upon the scene. I can't imagine. I can't imagine how he felt, what he felt when he saw that car with his mother inside that vehicle. But stories like this are often too common. They're common today. I want to show you this here. This here. This is me here. This guy, this guy, his name is Mr. Zavala. He ran over and kissed, killed Miss Boo. Her last name is Boo, 81 years old. Ran her over, fled the scene, took off. We apprehend him, our sheriff's office apprehended him. A couple hours later, we start booking him into the county jail. We run him. This knucklehead has been deported six previous times. Six. I think the American people are going to say, how does a guy get deported more than once? He's been deported six previous times. And these are just a few stories that Sheriff Daniels and I, we are sick of telling these stories. We are sick of having to have families come into our offices and explain that their loved ones were killed by people that shouldn't be here in the first place. I'd like to turn my attention to Judge San Miago's testimony. Judge, your, your written testimony claims your center has assisted 26,829 asylum seekers, and I think it opened up in October 10th of 2022, correct? That's correct. So about four months, 26,000. Fair enough. Data has shown that between the years of 2008 and 2019, just 14%, 14% of aliens who claimed credible fear were granted assignments. So that means 86% don't. So 14% of 26,829 is 3,756. Would you agree with that number? Okay, congratulations. Your center has assisted over 23,000 illegals that have been scattered throughout the country, coming into Houston, buses, right, bus every day, scattered throughout the entire country, and 23,000 of those will never be able to have a legitimate asylum claim, because only 14% of them do. And sir, that puts the American people at risk, and it puts the American people last. You stated there is, there is no invasion of migrants in our community, nor are there hordes of undocumented immigrants uh, committing crimes against citizens or causing havoc in your community. I'll say this, uh, El Paso PD, February 25th, 2022, violent crimes on the rise in El Paso. The, uh, the sergeant said we have seen a 27% increase in offenses involving weapons, stabbings, everything. Here's another one, El Paso cops arrest two migrants in overwhelmed border city. That's your city, sir. Uh, people selling dope, doing all sorts of stuff. Illegals, Venezuelans running around in stolen police cars. Cops are having to chase them. Here, two days ago, we have here in the city of Houston, the enforcement removal operations had to remove a guy that was in Houston illegally. He goes out and commits an armed robbery in the city of Houston, right? We arrest him. Thank goodness we arrested him. We find out he's got a murder warrant out of Mexico. So we've got some problems here, sir. And I would like to ask you this question. Do you believe that these illegal migrants are coming into our communities harming the American citizens? 
Not Thank the, you. Your answer is not yes. The, not the and you may know that, you that, that, that Houston is right next to my district, and I will say this. My eyes are wide open. The American peoples are wide open. I'd ask you to open yours. I yield back. Chair recognizes Ms. Bush.